Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning how to write a linear, linear equation from an arithmetic sequence. Now let's do a little review of what an arithmetic sequence is. It is a list of numbers or a sequence of numbers that is going at a constant rate. And you can probably see here, if you look close enough, that this one is going up by six each time. And so that's the constant rate of change. It's going up by six. Now, this number six that it's going up by, it actually has a, a, a term that we use for it, and we call it the common difference. Now, why do we call it the common difference? Because you can actually take any number in this sequence and subtract it by the one before it, so 14 minus 8, that makes 6. 20 minus 14, that makes 6. 26 minus 20, that makes 6. Okay? And so it might be easy for you to figure out what the rate of change is on these easy ones, but when it comes to uh, certain problems that have decimals or fractions, you're going to have to use this technique. Now, another thing about this common difference is that when you're speaking in linear equation terms, this is known as the slope, the uh, rate of change that it's going up or down compared to going to the right. And so for our sequence, we have a slope of 6. Now, why is it that we need to write a linear equation for this? Well, if I told you to find the fifth number, um, in this sequence, it probably wouldn't be that hard. You would just add six, right? And then the sixth number, you would add another six. And the seventh number, you would add six. But what if I asked you to find the 200th term? Well, that would take you a long time to keep adding six. You would have to use a calculator and hit the add button or equal button, you know, 195 times. So we're going to make an equation that's going to help us shortcut this. So we have our slope, and what I'm going to have you do every time is you're going to make an xy table, okay? And this xy table is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The x represents the term uh, in the sequence, and the y represents the uh, actual number of that term. And so if you notice, I put 8 under the first term, under 1, 14 under 2, 20 under 3, and so on. And so... We know that this is going up by 6, so we took care of the slope. But what we're going to do is we're going to find this zero term. Okay, you might be thinking, why do we have a zero term there? Okay, why do we need to find that number? Well, this is going to be our initial value, also known as the y-intercept. And so if this is going up by 6 to the right, then it's going down by 6 the opposite way. So that number would be 2. So this initial value... This initial term is also known as the y-intercept. And so we have a y-intercept of 2. Now we have the slope and the y-intercept. And if you have those two pieces of information, then you can use the slope-intercept form of the linear equation, y equals mx plus b. And just as a reminder, m equals the slope, and b equals the y-intercept. Okay, and so all you have to do is put in 6 for the m, and 2 for the b, and you have your equation. And so going back to that 200th term, if I asked you what the 200th term of this sequence is, all you would have to do is put in 200 into the x, calculate it out, and you would find out what number that would be. So let's try another one. Here we have another xy table. And as you notice, I have it horizontal. You can do it vertical if you want, and we're going to do one in a little bit, just to show you that it can work too. I like it this way because the numbers are going the same direction. So I'm going to put these numbers in their proper term row, term columns, and so the first term is 6, the second is 1, the third is negative 4, and so on. And so now we're going to have to find the slope of this one. And so what is it doing each time it goes to the right? Well, if you can't see it's going down by 5, then you can always subtract, find the common difference. You subtract any of these numbers by the one before it. So 1 minus 6 is negative 5. 
okay? And that works for any of these in arithmetic sequence. So we have our slope, it's negative five. Now we need to find our y-intercept. So we are going to go in the reverse direction. So if we're going down by five to the right, we are going up five to the left. And so this would make 11, our initial value. And that would be our y-intercept. And so we put our y equals mx plus b. And remember, slope is m, and the y-intercept is b. And we simply put in negative five and 11, and we have our equation. And so you could find any term in this sequence by using this shortcut equation. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like on a vertical table like this. And so you would simply, the x values are the terms. And so 2, 5, 8, and 11 go in their respective row and uh, match their term number. And so finding the rate of change um, or the slope, you, um, you can subtract a number by the one before it, in this case 5 minus 2, and that would make 3. So you know it's going up by 3 each time. So that's our slope. That equals 3. Now we're going to find our zero term. And so we're going to do a reversal of that 3. So we'll go down 3. And so that makes negative 1. There's our y-intercept. And so we are ready to make our equation y equals 3x minus 1. Now these, um, these can get a little bit more difficult. Uh, sometimes they're not so easy. They deal with negatives sometimes, and so you're going to have to be real careful, but always use the, the same method. It, it will always work. Now, sometimes problems um, I've seen ask for just the expression. They don't ask for the whole equation. And so what they mean by that is instead of having y equals the mx plus b, they really want just the mx plus b part of it. What do you have to do to the, the, uh, the x? And in this case, it's the n. So we are going to make uh, an xy table, but this is an n and then function of n table, f of n. And so that's how we write it if we're just talking about what do we do to the n um, to get our number. And so we put 6, 7, 8, and 9 in there. And so as you can see, the, uh, the rate of change is really easy. It's going up by 1. And so there is our slope of 1. And then we go and find our 0 term, which we go back 1. And so that's 5. And so that's our y-intercept, also known as our initial term. Okay, so how it wants us to present this is as just an expression, no equal sign. And it wants us to take the rate of change, which is 1, multiply it by n, and then add the initial term. So in our case, we're going to have 1 times n plus 5. And when you have 1 times n, you don't have to put the 1. Uh, if you don't want to, it's unnecessary. And so this would be the expression that they're looking for. So if you wanted to find the hundredth term in this sequence, the hundredth number, you would simply put 100 in for the n, add 5, and you would have, it would be 105. That would be the hundredth term. Okay. Well, I hope that helped. Um, if you feel like watching it again, I wouldn't blame you. This was a lot. And so um, I hope you... Uh, you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.